In this video, I'm going to show you how to replace the switch on a Dremel Model 395 Moto Tool. The most common symptom of a bad switch on your Dremel Moto Tool will be that the tool just simply won't turn on. Some other common symptoms would be it turns on, but the variable speed doesn't work. Or maybe it turns on sometimes, but not all the time. Some of these symptoms can also be caused by a bad cord. So before you jump right to the switch, you'll want to go ahead and test your cord first. To get started, we need to get access to the switch inside the tool. To do that, we'll first remove this cap on the front of the Dremel. Then I'll tip it on its back and remove the four screws that hold the two halves of the housing together. With the screws removed, now I can go ahead and split the two halves of the tool apart. Next, I'll pull the motor and switch assembly away from the other half of the tool. And I'll remove the motor brushes. With the brushes out of the way, now I can go ahead and pull the armature away from the switch and field and split the switch away from the field. Next, we need to remove the cord wires from the switch. The wires are held to the switch with some push-in connectors. To remove the wires, I'll use a small pick. I insert the pick next to the wire, and then I can pull the pick and the wire out together at the same time. Now I can go ahead and install the new switch. With these push-in connectors, all I need to do is just simply press the wire into the hole on the back of the switch. Now we can go ahead and begin reassembling the Dremel in the reverse order of how we took it apart. So I'll start by pressing the tabs on the back of the switch into the slots on the field. and then I'll thread the armature back through this field and the switch. Now we can go ahead and place the motor and switch assembly back into the housing. We're going to start with the side of the housing that has the opening for the switch and the hole for the lock pin. The first thing I'll do is drop the lock pin back down through the hole and replace the spring. Then I can put the motor and switch assembly into the housing. I want to make sure that I line up the bearings with the notches in the housing. There's a couple of notches in the housing for the wires. You want to make sure that the wires are seated down in those notches so they don't get pinched when you put the other side of the housing on. Now I can reinstall the other side of the housing. and secure it with the screws. And to finish up, I'll reinstall the brushes and the front cap. 